I'm here with Travis Hansen at Team O'Neill Rally School, and while I was here, I learned something that I'd never known about before uh, with front-wheel drive vehicles, and that's something called poor man's trash control. Uh, it involves left foot braking while you're on the gas, and it allows you to maintain control of the vehicle uh, in slippery conditions. And I realized that, you know, you guys are part of the Porsche Club. You joined with a Porsche. They don't make front-wheel drive vehicles, but I know that a lot of you drive front-wheel drive vehicles every day. And so we'd just like to show you guys to keep you safe on the road, whether you're on gravel, snow, or any sort of loose surface. Uh, uh, Travis, can you tell me a little bit about what goes into the poor man's trash control and why you would use it? Yeah, so it's an idea that we use kind of in front wheel drives exclusively. Um, the idea is on a, on a slippery surface like snow or ice that if you get on the throttle too quickly, uh, you could cause uh, wheel lock, or excuse me, wheel spin, right? And that's not going to be very good as far as trashing goes or turning or, or anything like that. And then the other end of the spectrum would be uh, if you got on the brakes too hard, you could cause wheel lock up, right? Um, which again, doesn't going to help you turn or keep much control of the vehicle. So we get the bright idea to um, maybe simultaneously be on the gas and the brakes at the same time, especially the slipperier it is, so that we can kind of modulate the mix between wheel lock up and brake. Uh, excuse me, wheel lock up and wheel spin. You know, so if we uh, get on the gas too quickly, instead of lifting back off the gas, we might try to slow the wheels down by applying the brake pressure and maintain the same throttle position, right? So therefore, kind of the poor man's trash control sort of thing. And the other end of the spectrum would be poor man's ABS, right? Whereas if you lifted all the way off the gas and got on the brakes, you could lock the wheels up very, very quickly on a slippery surface. Uh, but if you keep maybe 50% uh, throttle on while you brake, right, you're kind of forcing those wheels to continue to rotate and you can sometimes uh, uh, brake even harder and be more in control of how much brake pressure you have because you're able to modulate both feet at the same time doing poor man's traction control and poor man's ABS. Yep and uh, when I was uh, driving one of these front wheel drive Ford Fiestas you know I realized the benefit immediately going up a hill um, making a u-turn just simple things like that you know this will really help out. Right, if I get on the gas too quickly, I get front wheel spin, right? It doesn't really help the car uh, accelerate all that much on a slippery surface. Uh, it's not going to help me turn. Uh, instead of lifting off the gas, I might maintain throttle, but slow everything down by applying the brakes, right? And I'm on the throttle and the brakes at the same time. And I can kind of control how much wheel spin I'm allowing the vehicle to have, right? And it really helps me to control, or it helps me to climb really steep hills. You know, sometimes you want a little more wheel spin. Uh, sometimes too much wheel spin isn't helping. You're just polishing the snow down to the ice and you're losing control. Uh, but sometimes a little bit of wheel spin can help because it allows you to kind of kick loose the loose material on the road and get down to something that might be a little bit more compact. But by being on the gas and the throttle kind of at the same time, kind of bogging the thing down almost, uh, you can control how much wheel spin. You want a little more wheel spin, you let go of the brakes. Right? You want a little less, you start applying a little more brakes and you can kind of control how much you're getting, right? You can kind of hear the tone of the engine in this car, you know? I'm not really lifting off the throttle, I'm trying to actually maintain pretty good throttle position but just modulating the brakes according to what I'm looking for, wheel spin uh, or less wheel spin, I guess. And then the other idea would be that if I lift off the gas and then just apply the brakes, I get wheel lock up. You can hear the engine's quiet, we're stalled out, we're going to run into the snowbank. Right? So instead of lifting off the gas to get to the brakes, kind of a poor man's ABS would be to stay on the throttle a little bit and slow the vehicle down by applying the brakes at the same time. And I can stay in control the whole time because the wheels are continuing to rotate. This is all kind of for cars that don't have these programs in them. You know, an older car that doesn't have ABS or doesn't have traction control or maybe a car that you've disabled those things for whatever reason uh, on a slippery surface you can try this whole uh, poor man's traction control or poor man's ABS and if you can keep the wheels rotating um, you know then you should be able to the whole idea of ABS is that if you can keep the wheels rotating you should be able to make some turn while you're doing uh, some braking as well right so you can be on the brakes and the car turns and so we kind of use it too uh, when we're on the skid pad exercise uh, to help us transfer weight, you know, so we're going to maintain throttle position and then apply the brakes to make the car turn in a front wheel drive car. 
Because if I lift off the gasket on the brakes, I get wheel lockup. It goes to understeer. Or if I just modulate the throttle, I get wheel spin understeer, right? It goes right off the road. Uh, so that way we can kind of modulate where the weight of the vehicle is using just one input, just the brake pedal. You know, I'm trying not to move the steering. I'm trying not to move the throttle. And I'm just transferring weight forward and back using the brakes, right? If I'm on the brakes, the weight goes forward. The front tires kind of grab into the snow. The rear tires actually lose a little bit of weight. Uh, and I can make a rear end of a car, a uh, front wheel drive car in particular, actually oversteer, which is interesting. You know, a lot of people say, well, I can't ever make a, a front wheel drive car oversteer. Well, on a slippery surface, if you figure this out by modulating the gas and the brakes, mostly the brakes, right? You can make the rear end kind of slide around. Well, thanks, Travis and uh, PCA ers That's poor man's trash can control for when you're not driving your Porsche and you're in a front-wheel drive vehicle.